check it out, check it out. EOS R5, I'm so excited for this camera. I'm so excited to unbox this. As a photographer, I think this is going to be the best camera Canon has ever made. So I'm excited to unbox it and use it. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, just got back from the camera store, picked this up. Thank you to Downtown Camera for taking my order. I just wanna give them a little plug because whenever I buy a camera, I always buy them from Downtown Camera in Toronto. They always treat me well, customer service is great, mom and pop shop. So I like to promote them because I think we need a little more mom and pop shops in the city. So uh, thank you to Downtown Camera for this. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking at this box. I'm just so excited just by the box, but uh, let's open it up and get to the real exciting part. I'm gonna put this camera up here so we uh, get a better view. All right, now we have the camera mounted on a tripod and uh, we can get into this. Here it is, here it is. All right, so first things first, it's the same minimal packaging like with the EOS R. And you know what, at first I was kind of like, why is the EOS R not packed properly? It's very, uh, very simplistic, but I kind of like this. I kind of like this, it's very minimalistic. It's environmentally conscious. There aren't too many things, no styrofoam. How to redeem your exclusive EOS R pre-order offer. All right, here we go, we got paperwork. We have, we have the mother of all manuals here. This thing is huge. Okay, and uh, we got some cables. We have the charger and I'm so happy that this new camera has the exact same charger as all the other cameras and it's pretty much using the same battery. This battery apparently is optimized for this camera. It's a little more advanced than the other uh, standard batteries, but the other batteries work, which is great. I love the fact that everything's backward compatible. It means I don't have to go out and buy five new batteries and hopefully, fingers crossed, the battery life on this camera is good, but we'll see. We'll see, but anyway, that's a positive. Happy to see that. First layer of plastic done. Oh, it's, it's not much to it there. That, that's, that's it. We have uh, the camera and the strap. I mean, you probably don't even need such a big box. And I assume like this is for the lens if you order the camera with the lens package. But you know what, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go step aside from the camera here from an environmental perspective. Even though this is not the most appealing kind of unboxing experience, I'm very happy that Canon is doing this because I think this is super environmentally conscious. Less landfill, less waste. You know, this is pretty cool. I like it. It's very minimal, does the job, don't need anything else. Thank you, Canon, for that. And now, dun da da da. All right, all right. I'm sorry I don't have an overhead camera. I sold my Lumix G9. Now I just have the EOS R and the R5 to work with. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, that feels, that feels nice in the hands. That feels really nice. The rubbery grip is nice, it looks nice. Shutter down, which is great. Unless you like mucking around in there and touching your shutter and breaking it. But apparently this camera is pretty cool. Like in the way that you have an option to have the shutter go down when you turn it off or leave it up. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty nice. They didn't have that in the EOS R. First impressions, it feels really, it actually feels a lot like the EOS R, but it also feels like my old 5D camera. It, it has, it's a beefier body. It feels a little bigger in the hands, which is nice. There we go. There isn't even plastic screen protect protector on this. I mean, that's less junk for the landfill too. So that's that's great in terms of weight. It's nice. And <laughs> image stabilization. First, well actually, I don't know which one's the first, the EOS R5 or R6. I guess the R5 came out first. So first camera with in-body Im image stabilization from Canon ever. And uh, that's pretty cool. So you know what, let's get, uh, Let's see if there's any juice in this thing and let's fire it up. The 
this is the uh, 24 to 105. Oh, no battery life, but, but I do have other batteries. Let's see if this one's still good. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, set date. Oh, I'm too excited to set the date. Let's just take a look through the viewfinder, wow. Okay, that is, that is nice. And you know what, the, the nice thing I'm noticing so far is, oh, this battery's about to die too, is that when you look through the viewfinder, like with the EOS R, you had that box, that square, that uh, tracked the eyes or the faces and things like that, and that was pretty big. And I'm noticing when I'm looking through the viewfinder here right now, they've thinned out the lines of that box, so it's a lot more subtle, but you can still see that it's there. And uh, yeah. Oh, that's quiet. That is quiet. Okay, I'm gonna have to mess around with this and we're gonna pause the video right here and I'll be right back and then I'll give you my first impressions. But in terms of feel and look, it feels really good in the hands. I like the fact that they stuck with this kind of like really dark, dark gray. I kind of like that with the EOS R. It's not exactly black. It's like a dark, dark gray. And I think that's pretty sharp. The body looks very similar to the EOS R, but you can see that it's a lot thicker. And, uh, oh, there goes the battery. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Good thing I got four more. All right, so let's turn that off. The buttons, the buttons are a lot smaller. Actually, you know, I'll just throw in B-roll here rather than pointing this at the camera. The buttons are a lot smaller than the EOS R buttons. It feels a lot more refined. They're kind of soft to the touch. It feels like a calculator. The touchpad is gone, which I have mixed feelings about. I actually enjoyed the touchpad. I used it to change around different focus points or different types of focus. So if I wanted single point or if I wanted eye tracking, I would just swipe left, right. The joystick is nice. It's nice to have a joystick back. I definitely got used to shooting with the joystick before. So I'm curious to test that out and see how it works. All right, so I'm gonna go play with this for a bit and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome to the B-roll portion of this video. We're just gonna have montage it here with some sexy video clips of the EOS R5. For those of you who are drooling, you know, I, I know exactly how you feel. This was me a few days ago, just drooling over this camera. Actually, for the last month, since, the, since they announced it, I've been drooling for this camera. And uh, I'm so happy to finally have it in my hands. It is beautiful, it is beautiful. Um, okay, so let's let's talk about it for a second here. It's got a 45 megapixel CMOS sensor, which is amazing. I'm so excited to shoot with a 45 megapixel sensor. Now, from a scientific perspective, the bigger the sensor, the smaller the pixels, the less sensitive they are to light, the more noise you could have. So that's my, my first curiosity here, is how is it gonna handle low light? From what I've been able to tell so far from other people's photos, it seems to handle low light pretty well. It's not too noisy, but I will check that out because that is a concern to me, especially if I'm shooting weddings and I'm shooting in a dark environment, how noisy is it gonna be? Next thing we have is a Digic X or Digic 10 processor, and that's pretty cool. I mean, this processor can handle 8K video, so I have no issues with it whatsoever when it comes to handling photos. It's just gonna rip through photos like nothing, so that's pretty cool. It's like an overkill sensor for a photo camera, so thumbs up for us photographers there. Now, this camera has autofocus points for days, for days. I think it's 100% coverage with the uh, autofocus, so you can move your focus point around with the joystick. And yes, it has a joystick, which is pretty cool. I'm glad to see a joystick back on the camera, but you can move that focus point around anywhere you want, and that is just wow. And not only that, coupled with I tracking technology wherever the eye goes in frame if it is in frame it'll be in focus which is also amazing i mean it kind of sucks when the eye just goes out of frame you can still see it but it gets cut off because there's no focus points on that part of the sensor this is 100 percent coverage so wow wow that's another first for canon and speaking of firsts it's the first canon body with ivis in body image stabilization so you have that if you need it i'll be honest as a photographer i'm kind of like meh eh don't really care, doesn't really matter to me. I mean, maybe in extreme low light situations if I wanna shoot handheld, but in general, it's never been on my wish list for camera, for photos, for video, 
I love it. For video, I think it's going to be fantastic because you can get nice, clean, smooth video and vlogs, especially, I mean, with the IBIS plus image stabilization on the lens, they claim you can get up to eight stops of stabilization, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, it's there if you want it, if you need it. Wow, that's amazing. Now, the other cool thing is they finally have two card slots, but there's a bit of a caveat here. One is a standard SD card slot. One is a CF Express card slot. So, I mean, they gave you both card slots, but this, the, the other card slot, like the cards are so expensive. So if you're shooting a wedding, you, you have to invest in these CF Express cards, which are pretty pricey right now, and SD cards. And so it's like a little bit of a, a give and, and take there. Like I would have preferred, like the Sony has the, the card slots that can accept two different types of cards, which have been cool. I would have loved to use two SD cards. I know as a photographer who primarily is gonna be using this camera as a photo camera, I have no need for a CF Express card, nor do I wanna buy a CF Express card to have it, to use it as a backup when I'm shooting. So that's a bit of a, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Canon kind of, in my opinion, I wish there were just two SD cards. But, but that being said, this camera does have Wi-Fi. So if you have a Wi-Fi hard drive, you can just, automatically transfer the, the, the shots off the camera as you're shooting onto your Wi-Fi hard drive. I know Western Digital makes one of these and I wanna pick one up and test it with this camera. The other thing that Canon has is they have a cloud service. So if you're shooting with your Canon, the images will automatically upload to the cloud as you're shooting. So you'll have a backup on the cloud. So I mean, if you're shooting a wedding and your camera falls in a pond or someone steals it or whatever, all those photos are gonna be backed up on the cloud anyway. So that's a pretty cool feature. I'm looking forward to testing that out. I don't know how fast raw files are gonna be able to transfer to the cloud, but we'll see. I mean, that's that's a pretty cool innovation. I think that's that's very forward looking for Canon. That's, that's right into the future. So that's pretty cool technology right there. And those are the things that really excite me about this camera. Obviously there's a lot more things if you wanna really dig down into it, but that is the conclusion of our sexy B-roll. Boom! All right, welcome back from that sexy video montage. Sexy, not so sexy. Good, not so good. Exciting, not so exciting. <laughs> you let me know how that B-roll went. That was my first time trying to do slow-mo B-roll in uh, on YouTube with this kind of video. I've never done that before. Always learning, always uh, trying to up my video skills and uh, learn new things because that's what this game is all about. Learning and developing your craft and that kind of thing. So let me know, how did that work out? Was it good, was it choppy? I hope, I hope I did it right. Anyway, I'm a professional photographer, been shooting since 2005. If you wanna check out my website, link right there. I'm gonna be taking this camera out and doing some test shots and I'm going to put photos up on my blog on the website. So if you wanna check out some photos, go check out the website. Also, I'm really trying to grow this channel, build it up. So if you wanna subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. We're almost at 5,000 subs. I wanna blow right past it and head to 10,000 subs. Back to this, this is what we're here for, the EOS R5. So far, impressions are really good. I'm really liking it. it um, the one thing I forgot to mention in the video that I'll mention here is that when you use the back screen to move your focus point around, it is so much faster than the EOS R. Like so much faster, double the speed. And this joystick is so responsive. It, li it literally feels like a video game controller. You, you just touch it and it moves and you can get across the screen so fast. If you're tracking something that isn't a face and you can't lock onto it, you can use the joystick to track it and move your focus point super fast. Like I can imagine for weddings and events, like if the if the autofocus is locking onto the wrong face and you want to focus on the ring or whatever and the, the camera's doing the wrong thing, you can just quickly, I set this button to the right here to change my uh, my focus type. And then you can just use the, uh, the joystick quickly to move to where you want to focus and boom, you're done. And uh, yeah, that'll definitely improve efficiency and speed. But uh, yeah, that, that's it uh, for this video. So if you like this kind of stuff, if you're thinking about picking up an EOS R5 and you wanna know more information about it, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos on it. So subscribe, subscribe to the channel for that. And uh, that's all I gotta say for now. I will see you guys in the next video where I will be analyzing some photos I take with this camera. because We're gonna head outside right now and we're gonna take some shots. But uh, yeah, that is it. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something and I will see you guys in the next video.